Hello dear developers and programmers, you're watching episode 2 of my tutorial on sending form data from a website to Telegram. To communicate with Telegram's API and implement the web app we want we need a Telegram bot. I'm trying to make this tutorial beginner friendly. In this episode, I plan to teach you how to build a Telegram bot from scratch step by step. To get started, open Telegram on your desktop or mobile, you just need a Telegram account. Note that your Telegram app should preferably be the latest version. We'll use two bots. One is Botfather to create and manage our bot, and the other is User Infobot which we can use to get our chat ID. To create a bot, go to Botfather and click the Start button. Here you'll see a button called Open, click on it. Now proceed to create a bot. At this step, optionally set a profile picture, name, description and username for your bot. One important thing I learned through testing, the profile picture must never contain the Telegram logo. If it does, Telegram will immediately suspend the bot and possibly even your Telegram account. As mentioned in the text below, your bot's username must end with bot. Now just click on Create Bot. Yes, it's that simple, our bot is created and ready to use. Here, copy this bot token and save it somewhere as we'll need it later. Let me also tell you about two settings that are useful for your bot's privacy and security. Go to Bot Settings like I did and disable these two options. That covers bot creation, now let's get our chat ID. For this, just go to User Infobot and click the Start button. This is your chat ID, but you might ask, what's it for? We need two variables to use Telegram's API, Bot Token and Chat ID. Bot Token identifies our bot for communicating with Telegram's API. Chat ID is the destination where we'll send messages through our bot. Essentially, you need the chat ID of one or more accounts, groups or channels you want your bot to send messages to. So we'll save these two variables to use later when writing code to connect to the API. Alright, one final step remains. You need to enable the bot to message you directly. For this, just go to your bot's page and click the start button, that's it. All right. I'll end the video here. In the next episode, we'll write a program to send form data from our website to our personal chat using a Telegram bot. If you found this tutorial useful, please support me with a like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as new episodes drop. Thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful.